we've got a problem. <laughs> and that's like, I can't quite jump that. So I think maybe I can do this. <laughs> hey, it's good that it's icy because I'm sliding right along. <laughs> Uh, I'm 37. <laughs> We're staying up in Yorkshire for a few weeks and getting kind of our relax on and getting some editing and things done. And we're staying kind of in like the English, English countryside, like kind of hardcore Did English you countryside. Say English. English. <laughs> 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 and we are staying in um, a little a little village that is next to a little bit larger town called Skipton. And the town of Skipton we've come to this morning and um it's been a little bit icy like sliding along the roads and it's a bit cold out here right now and and we have come to a place that is going to hopefully have something that's going to make us feel a little bit better we've come to a pie shop that has been highly recommended by our hosts as a place that's been in skipton since like the beginning of time like they've been making these pies for a very long time and um, uh, we've heard stories about how when you eat these pies, like it just like runs down your face and it's like, sounds like it's gonna be a bit of an experience. And they specialize in pork pies. And we also saw some other things on the menu that looked a little bit interesting. So I think we're gonna try two different flavors. Mm -hmm. And um, the thing that we're noticing might be a little bit difficult about this is, I don't know if you, maybe you can see our breath. It's a bit cold out here and cold. this restaurant doesn't seem to have a place to sit down and eat. So it's, it's the second restaurant we found out about Skipton. That yeah, have a it place sounds like Skipton doesn't have seats. So we are going to do something and maybe have to stay warm by letting this hot pot pie run down our faces. Yeah, I'm gonna so. put it in my shirt. <laughs> we got our pies, and can you hold that up so that people can see their size? Like, hold it to your head. There you go. It's about yeah. It's a half a Katie head. It's about half a Katie. It was pretty cheap though. Sorry. It was how much? One fifty or something, right? It, 250 for two. 250 for two. So, I mean, they're Smalls. not, they're, yeah, they're pretty small. And you, you might be able to eat more than one, but if we need that, we can go back up and grab another one. Um, this is come out and it's not super hot because apparently they make them quite early in the morning. And this one's been sitting yeah, for not a long time, but long enough that it's cooled down. You can feel a little bit of warmth to it. Um, but uh, yeah, just I think, yeah, I, I want to eat it. So. <laughs> so, I haven't had any food yet. I got a banana in my pocket, but uh, I haven't had anything to actually eat. What are we, what are we working with as far as uh, the insides go? Is this the apple one or yeah, is this the- I think that's the apple one. Apple and pork, which is a bizarre combination. Like it's got pork and apple inside. And that that was the cold, cold one. Oh, so that was the cold <laughs> I'm one? I'm going to jump into the warmer one and okay. see what happens. It definitely has some liquid coming out of it, which we heard about this jelly liquid. <laughs> yeah, he said it was like jellied kind of in a strange way. Mm. Oh, so that one's like solid pork. Mm-hmm. Um, it looks kind of like a minced pork is what it looks like. Is that about right with what? I don't know. It's just kind of loafish to me. Like a loaf. Okay. But it's it's incredible. Yeah. That <laughs> it says it's world famous on the outside. It does say it's world famous. That's, that's a meat flavor I haven't had in a long time. I'm a little disappointed that it's not like super warm because I think we're not getting the experience of like the jelly running down your face mm. because it's been cooled down a bit. But I'm not disappointed in the flavor at mm. all. Yeah. Holy crap, there's some spice in there. Mm -hmm. What just happened? Let me try the apple one too. Because the apple one's sweet, that's what I'm interested in. Mm. And in the apple one, there's like a, a, big, glob of the, a big glob <laughs> of the meat. Um, the apple's a bit sweet, and the meat is a bit spicy. It's kind of a fun combination. Mm. It's like a, it's like a cobbler type of apple mm. that they've made. I think that I actually prefer the one without the apple in it. I think that that just, just detracts from the meat a little bit. Mm. But um, it's, it's fun. I'm glad we tried two different ones. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I would definitely eat more of these. They it's not healthy, <laughs> but I would totally eat more. They open at 6 a.m. Would you get Would you get up early enough to come over here and have one that's like, you know, really like soggy and hot? I'd feel bad waking up people. <laughs> to get a ride over here. Yeah, yeah we had to get a because ride. Right now, like, Public transportation is We have is some really this. great hosts that are probably willing to drive us that early, but I don't want to make them drive us that early. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
even the smallest towns have castles. And right now we're on our way to the castle. I can't see it, but we've been told that there's a lovely little walkway and we're gonna go down the lovely little walkway. And from... it, it, it borders like a little canal and this is like a part of the canal system here that I guess has been constructed that they used for like getting materials out of mines and mills and stuff before there was a highway system and train system and stuff. Mm. I don't know, it's very like, it's very England. Like and you I see all these canals it, all over yeah. the place. It's babbling and yeah, <laughs> No, I like dude, that's, that. that's the creek. I think the creek is babbling, but the canal is not babbling. So the canal is canal. We're, we're between a canal and a creek. <laughs> Are we on an island right now? In a church? Are we, uh, we're on an island. We're, yeah, we're on the island of England. We, we already talked about this. In it's all rocks England, in the water. But we're on I <laughs> <laughs> This is another one of those situations. <laughs> this is even prettier than I had imagined. I was not expecting a small waterfall and I wasn't expecting this at all. It's beautiful. Nice cock. I just want to say I'm winning. Turns out that the little path that we were on does not go to the castle, but it does come to this ridiculously English looking country road that we're now walking back into town on. There are some animals in front of us. What are the nice that, cock? Those are real cocks? Nice cock. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. angry. Look, like all the feathers are all out and everything. It's gonna peck my eyes out. It's quite wonderful to have the chance to come out and check out a small town like Skipton and see that things that in your mind are touristy actually exist in places that aren't necessarily very touristy. There's not a whole lot of tourism coming up here in Skipton. Maybe locally people come out here and check things out or at least come here for shopping, but it's not like there's an international airport down the road. And they still have got buildings that are quite striking looking like this church. And I don't think that it is necessarily a church that is super, super unique. I imagine there's probably clones of this scattered all over the English countryside. But just to see that things like this are actually out there, actually existing in real life, is kind of impactful in a way. I, we've just been walking around looking at things being like, wow, that exists. Wow, that exists. Wow, that exists. And that's been a really rewarding part of just coming out to the countryside and checking things out in general. We finally made it to the castle after a detour and turns out that this castle is an example, like a prime example of medieval castling. It's 900 years old and from what I understand, pretty much all original structure with some nice things that happened in the 1300s making it even better. Uh, it's still that's, pretty old. Yeah. <laughs> it's like before Columbus, dude. <laughs> that's definitely what I understand so far. And it is beautiful. It is huge. It is real. Like that was one of the things we were just talking about it's a real castle and people lived in here recently. I, I think people still live here. There's signs over there that say that there's private residence on the other side of this fence. <gasps> like I, you're not allowed to go I there. was trying to see if this was like a hotel type thing where we could sleep <laughs> inside. I think it is possible for, whoa, almost <laughs> fell down the stairs there. Um, I think it is possible for us to sleep in a castle one night. So that's one of my aims, but this will not be the one. What's your confidence level in scaling a castle wall and infiltrating a castle like, you know, defenses? I think my capability of being able to do that is as high as my thought that there are ghosts in all castles. There probably aren't any ghosts <laughs> and we probably can't scale any walls. So we're really just going to have to book it. So you're saying you, you can Bo get in or not? Oh, book <laughs> I it, can't Book get it in. like run or book it as in like online? Online. Oh, you're gonna have yeah. You're gonna have I don't, I don't think there are really going to be any ghosts. I want there to be ghosts so it's kind of scary but... I have no idea what she's talking about yeah. with ghosts. <laughs> yeah, I went down a road. <laughs> But that's okay, we're going inside the castle. If you're gonna try to get in here, you're gonna have to remember about these slanted skirts at the bottom of the towers. Because if those ghosts start dropping rocks at you, they're gonna bounce off at all sorts of wacky angles. <laughs> they're gonna attack you. I'm gonna be fine. <laughs> Apparently that's actually what this like skirt is for, is like so that they could use it for defensive purposes. And I guess structural issues like keeping things a little stronger and even a wider base. I got I got a, a tour thing for children for 90p, and I'm doing a word find. <laughs> <laughs> the 
The archway that I'm under is 900 years old and is the same archway that soldiers would use to enter the castle, which is crazy. And this step here has been there equally as long, I think, and these, this indentation is showing where they've walked and that lots of people be walking on this stone. It's crazy that it's been pushed down that far in 900 years. That's stone, people. And inside is the courtyard. And I asked the lady who checked us out, Anne. She says this is her favorite part of the entire castle. And this tree is pretty amazing. And the tree was planted by Lady Anne. Maybe Anne inside is in cahoots with that Anne. She's just promoting Anne's good works. Do you have any idea how long ago the tree was planted? Did anybody need to tell you that? Uh, gosh, I just read it. It was after the Civil War. When was the Civil War? I don't know. Yeah, because <laughs> I only know about our Civil War. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. As you can see behind me, there's quite a few little rooms that come off of the courtyard, and I'm going to tuck into one of them and show you what's going on in here. And this actually, apparently this wall that is behind me is not super, super old. It was built like in the 1600s or something, but it's not technically original. However, the outside wall, which is what this is, is original and it's like super old. And the purpose of this was like a defense room. So if you go in here, you can see where you would be able to stick like a bow and arrow out or maybe throw rocks or something through this. And there's actually a special little thing that they're referring to as a squint. And that is this little hole right here. And the purpose of this is that if somebody does get into the courtyard, you are able to shoot them from here into the courtyard. Because you remember that wall there wouldn't have originally been there when the castle was built. Food. <laughs> you know how people say like uh, it's like a sauna in here yeah. now when I'm cold in a building I'm just gonna go it's like a castle in here <laughs> it's like a castle castles are freaking cold people it wow. is a bit drafty <laughs> yeah so we were in the banquet room where they eat the food but we're gonna go where they prepare the food so they had to bring all the food and stuff up a flight of stairs to eat it and prepare it so I'm assuming they would bring like animals and stuff up here. Yeah, to there's this huge area that says that they used to put like full animals in there and put them on like a spit where they would rotate them. Uh. So kind of kebab style. And then <laughs> <laughs> also they do cauldrons of um, stews and things like that, which is pretty cool. Most interesting thing about the kitchen situation is one, those little windows go directly into the banquet hall. So it's really restaurant style. Oh, and kind they, of they like that. Food yeah, okay. yeah. And uh, also when they're done with the food, they go down into this little area and they would just chuck it into the moat. So they just throw all the refuse down in there and bye bye. Something gives me a feeling that that's not all that ends up in the moat. <laughs> oh, it's not. Come with me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then also some other refuse <laughs> is going to go down there as well. They actually call this the long drop. <laughs> You know what, yeah. Noodle? If you get splashed back from that, that's a horrible. Ew! <laughs> <laughs> the splashback would be brutal, especially like moat water. But even if there's no splashback, right now there is quite a draft of wind coming through here. And it's coming through here. <laughs> so like, you would have like frozen danglers like for sure in the winter. This would be a bummer. Correction before any medieval masters out there start getting on me. These two little windows are actually uh, openings to the ovens that they had here. Over here, this looks much more like the serving area. This is the Shoney's area where you can come. There, there used to be a bell of some sort, ding. <laughs> they have that light to keep the French fries Yeah, on. yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of a connoisseur of high ceilings and this place is like killing it on the high ceilings because like I don't and there's no way I can't even come close to touching that. It's really way up there. 
The castle structure looks pretty small from the outside, but once you get inside, it turns into a bit of like a labyrinth. I guess you feel a bit like you're in a maze. And there are lots of different little places for like little rooms and stuff off to the side of places. And in this case, we've got, look at this little narrow stairwell that we've got. And I'm sure that like some of these stairs are worn down a bit, but they're still, like that's a pretty small stair, yeah? So you come up this really tight, narrow stairwell, and now you end up into the watchtower, which has got a pretty decent view headed out over south, and that's where the city now sits of Skipton. I'm real busy here doing my word fun. <laughs> I've got like eight more words to find. <laughs> With every good castle, there's a dungeon. Let's go down. And like, imagine this before there was electricity, you know what I mean? Like, this would be super, super creepy. This is it? Yeah, I thought it was going to be a lot bigger. But I mean, you could put a lot of people in here. Stack them on top of each other. <laughs> He'd be a really ruthless leader. <laughs> to enhance the creepy atmosphere of the dungeon, if you look on the walls, there's just stuff kind of carved into them, like just X's and things. Nothing like remarkable, but it does kind of give you the feel that maybe some people in here were kind of bored. <laughs> Our kid's guide to castles has uh, told us that we need to watch out for this little guy. It's called a wavern. And the people that used to live here, the Cliffords, they have a family crest. And in their family crest, you see three, possibly more, you should look closely, three waverns that um, they are half dragon, half fish. And I guess that's how the Cliffords wanted to be remembered as half dragon, half fish. To me, this just looks like a dragon with duck feet. <laughs> it's the power of the dragon and the what of the fish. What, what, like the, the fortitude? Does it, do fish have fortitude? <laughs> Why would they choose that half? <laughs> but here in the courtyard, you've got to like count a bunch of them. Is that what the little game is? Yeah, you have to find as many that are out here in the court or courtyard that you can. How many have you found? at least 20 yeah yeah but they're all on the drain pipes it says to look close so i'm looking for one that's kind of out of the ordinary but they're really nowhere else i don't think next to the castle inside of the castle grounds they have got a chapel and we walked in and immediately i was like whoa this really feels like a thing but i didn't say what it was and then you said oh this really feels like a thing but and you then didn't you told say me what to it was quiet. yeah i said no, no no don't spoil it don't spoil it so i'm gonna say three two one and then we gotta say that say what we both okay. think it is and maybe it's the same thing on okay after one three two one and then go okay all right on the go okay three two one zelda Breath of the Wild. Yes. <laughs> it feels exactly like the beginning of Breath of the Wild because it's kind Cause, of fall, yeah, cause falling you, apart in the same way. And you have to climb it in Breath of the Wild. And uh, yeah, the I climb, feel like we yeah, should yeah. be up in the rafters looking for something. <laughs> it's like it's really, it's like right out of it. Like they, they photographed this and put it in the game. Yep. We were told that if you haven't been to Skipton Castle, you haven't been to Skipton. And I think that I would agree with that because that was actually a really cool little experience. And we were like essentially alone in this whole castle. At yeah. one point there was two other people looking around and then they left and then it was us for um, like 90% of the time we were in there. So it was like kind of like you just got to go and like spook, like spook around in these little corners and like look around things. Mm. And I don't know, it was just a really cool atmosphere. And I felt like the documentation was good enough to understand enough of what you needed to know. And I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I thought the documentation was pretty good. You had that and little game. I had, the, I had the game and the guide. That was pretty perfect. It's a very well done establishment. And in the loneliness section, there was no one around. And you, that was it was you, really cool. You it wasn't... could totally get freaky in that dungeon if you want to. <laughs> what? That's not a good place for that. Some of these words aren't words. Turns out the tree's almost 400 years old. Uh, 1659 is when they put the little sapling in there and now it's much bigger. Nine feet in girth. <laughs> it's 
girthy. Thanks for watching. Leave us a thumbs up if you enjoyed exploring Skipton Castle with us. Make sure you're subscribed to see our visit to York coming soon. Patreon is how we're able to keep making videos. A special thanks to all our supporters. If you'd like to help us make more videos, check out our newly revamped Patreon page and video linked below.